Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are outside right now and we are going to be cleaning my husband's car completely out for this spring cleaning series. If you're new here, my name's Kiana Rain and I make videos about cleaning, lifestyle, creativity, you name it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below so you can get more of this kind of content. Before we get started into the cleaning, let me go ahead and show you some before shots of what my husband's car has been looking like. B-roll! As you can see here, there's lots of dead bugs, dirt, and debris on the outside, and then as we move on the inside, the carpets are gross, the dash is dusty, there's tons of crumbs in the cup holder, literally the front seat's just a mess. And here you can see there are tons of crumbs in the crevices of the seats here, so we're definitely gonna make sure to give this all a real good vacuuming. In the back seat, we just have tons of leftover things from our wedding, some gifts, random binders, bags, so that just needs to get cleaned out entirely and put back into the house. Also, outside of the car, we need to tackle these tires. They are in desperate need of a good scrubbing, so we're gonna get these looking nice and clean. Also, I forgot to tell you all, but we actually tried doing this last week, but we live in Florida and the weather is super unpredictable and it started raining. You can't really tell because it looks sunny here, but it's actually raining right now, so, um, so here we are, we are back this week to actually get it done. First step is going to be to take absolutely everything out of the car before we can start deep cleaning. Let's go. Our second step is going to be to take all the rugs out and we are gonna give everything a real good vacuuming. You can tell that the front seat definitely needs more TLC than the back two rugs. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum these carpets down as well as all the upholstery and carpets in the car. But first I wanted to show you what I'm gonna be using to do that. I went ahead and picked up this pet glove from the Dollar Tree to go ahead and help me agitate any dust, dirt, debris, and hairs that might be in the carpets. And then I'm gonna use my cordless Dyson right here to go ahead and suck it up. And I'm gonna be using a variety of Dyson attachments just because I don't know which one will be best. This is the normal floor cleaner. I have this one for your, it's technically a mattress cleaner, but like whatever. I don't know what this one does, but my mother-in-law had it in her closet and it looks fancy, so we're gonna try it. And then this is just that crevice tool to go ahead and get deep within the little nooks and crannies. And let's get going. I started off by having the pet glove on one hand, that way I could go ahead and switch easily from the vacuum to the pet glove. But I will tell you, one tip I found really useful is to actually just have the glove completely off my hand so that I could just hold onto the silicone piece. I felt like I had more control that way. And then honestly, I just switched between all the different attachments and I just picked the tool that I think would be best depending on the area, especially once we get into the car and we have lots of corners and nooks and grannies. Here I'm just using one of the attachments to go ahead and dust the center area and the dashboard. carpet cleaning for the four floor mats and then the front seat and then we can do the back seat and be done. I like this. Well, I mean with that part, then we have to like clean the interior, clean the exterior, the tires, you know. Yeah. 
So I was going to move on to doing the windows and the glass areas. However, I learned that the Armorall, which is the conditioner cleaner that you want to use on the leathery plastic type surfaces in your car actually smudges the glass so if you get any on the glass accidentally it'll smudge it and it's really hard to clean so if I were you I would definitely recommend doing the conditioning areas first and then follow it up with the windows afterwards this is also a really awesome life hack here I went ahead and used a foam paintbrush added on some armor all and I used it to clean the vents in the car and it worked super well I was so shocked I really thought this one might have been a flop with you, I'll do whatever you want me to, to do, to do, cause I've never felt like this before, and I want you even more, I think I'm falling in love with you, with you. to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before or oh, oh yeah now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Okay, you guys we are moving on to what I think is the fun part which is the carpet cleaning and the reason I think carpet cleaning is the fun part is because I am a sicko and I love seeing all of the dirt that's in the upholstery and the carpets get sucked up I think it's so satisfying I get to go do that with you guys now let's go all right y'all so we're having some trouble with the carpet cleaner you might hear it in the background right now long story short we are going to move on to cleaning the outside of chance's car because he has to leave for rehearsal in two hours and i figured i can always clean the carpets tomorrow if i need to so let's go ahead and get started on that to get started i'm just filling up a bucket with some natural soap some water i'm filling it up watching all the bubbles float up and then we're gonna get to washing the car I got excited. All right, and clearly I need to be a bit more patient, so I went ahead and let Chance rinse off the car, and then he also gave me really good advice to make sure I'm working panel by panel. This allows us to go ahead and wash a panel of the car, rinse it off with water, and then that way you don't let any of the soap dry onto the car, especially if you live in the south and you have really hot weather. The sun will dry up the soap a lot faster if you try to wash the entire car all in one go. All right, and we are moving on to the tires, and these clips are so satisfying. I love watching all the dirt fall off the tire when we rinse it, and I'm just getting this really well. The front tires on Chance's car are going to be much dirtier than the back tires, and that's because that's where his brakes are. Come run away. Right, and we are now finally at my favorite part of cleaning out the car which is doing the carpet cleaning this is so satisfying literally y'all I made sure to get super up close and personal shots so you guys can see the suds the dirt and everything gets sucked up into the nozzle middle section of this carpet was giving me some troubles it was extra dirty because it was from the front driver's side but normally if you have a trouble spot in your carpet you can use a drill brush to get it out but if you're trying to save money or maybe you don't have the space to have all those extra tools 
go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a brush. It's going to save you tons of money and then what you can do is you're just going to saturate the area that's giving you trouble just like you're seeing here and then you're going to use the scrub brush to go ahead and really work the soap into the carpet. You want to go up and down, sideways, do little circles. Just make sure you're doing everything you can to really get all the dirt out and then you're just going to take the attachment that comes with your carpet cleaner and you're going to suck up all the dirt and also guys it's really satisfying to watch this is your friendly reminder to also wash your middle console here especially if yours is cloth if it's leather do not do this use a conditioner like we talked about earlier in the video Like I said, I just wanted to make sure I did all the conditioning on the leathery plastic pieces and I wanted to do all the carpet cleaning so I didn't want any smudges or any watermarks on these windows. And y'all, when you see the final reveal, these windows look so good, so shiny, so clean. Alright, and here is the final reveal of the car. Well, the final reveal before we put in all the accessories. Look at these windows, y'all. I was not kidding when I said they came out perfect. It is so much nicer in here, and the best part for me is that Chance loves his car now. It is such a nice feeling getting in a clean car. You feel like you have your life together when you don't have clutter all up in your car. This is such a nice, fresh, clean slate for him. Now that the car is clean, we are going to go ahead and add in our last few final touches. I'm going to start out by getting him one of these car chargers. It has three different ports. We got this on Amazon and it actually came in a pack of two just like this. So one for his car, one for my car, which is the best part. And then these all have a max 3.4A. And the next thing we want to add are these ceramic coasters. Again, this came in a four pack. There was a pink, a dark blue, this teal, and a black. And these are the two that Chance picked out, and then I'll get the other two. I am gonna say these are too small for his cup holder, but when I looked on Amazon, I couldn't find any ones that were bigger than this that were still ceramic. So I figured this will at least do the job of keeping these semi-clean, but I'll let you guys know how these work. Last but not least, we are installing a car phone mount into Chance's car. There's this little disc that you stick onto the dashboard just so that there's a flat surface and then this suction cups and then locks down and it's really, really cool. There's a button in the center and what you do is you push in these little side wings and then you put your phone and you just press it into the center and then the clips will just adjust to any size phone and you can turn it, move it up and down. It's super convenient. Right, and the last thing we need to do for Chance's car is just replace his scent pod thing. This is his. It's a little dried up. I feel like he could probably get a couple more days. However, he gets these for like every holiday, every Christmas. He has a lot of them. So we're going to have him replace it. Also, when you live in Florida, these little things dry up really, really fast because of the heat that gets in your car. So we're going to go ahead and replace them. Ocean classic ocean. If you guys are ever wondering what the best Bath & Body Works male scents are, <laughs> It's the ocean scent and then it used to be our favorite like number one our favorite was ocean until they came out with fresh water That one's the best if you're wanting any body of water yeah. Any body of water he said but if you want to get a really good men's scent from Bath and Body Works fresh water hands down the best one they have Woo! <laughs> All right, and that's it for today's video. My husband is happy with his nice clean car right husband. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe down below. I can't wait to have you join us for the next one. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.
So we're gonna wait for 15 minutes and then see about scrubbing it into the headlight. I would again would say that this hack is a fail.